Um, this is our analysis of John Donne's third holy sonnet titled, O Might Those Sighs and Tears Return Again. So the structure of this sonnet it follows as three quatrains and then a couplet. The first quatrain's um, I, main ideal is a plea for forgiveness, followed by the second, which is worthless weeping, followed by prior happiness, and then finally the couplet as self-judgment. So our first quatrain reads, O oh, might those sighs and tears return again into my breast and eyes, which I have spent, that I might in this holy discontent mourn with some fruit as I have mourned in vain. So here the, the speaker opens up the poem by asking for sorrow that causes him, for the sorrow to return that causes him tears so that he can find forgiveness in his pain and suffering. Yeah, so in, in this first quatrain, uh, we hear about uh, the narrator's unhappiness and how he's upset. Um, we, the audience learns from this, uh, from the sighs coming from his breast and the tears that are coming from his eyes. Um, and he makes a, a divine reference uh, to mourning with some fruit. Um, this fruit would be recognition from the divine as um, he's unsatisfied because now he, he just mourns in vain with, with nothing. Um, the second quatrain reads, in mine idol uh, idolatry, what showers of rain mine eyes did waste, what griefs my heart did rent, that sufferance was my sin, now I repent. Because I did suffer, I must suffer pain. So here the, the speaker contends himself to idolatry, and this causes him to weep in abundance. The speaker hy then hyperbolizes um, his tears, calling them showers of rain. He then says his eyes have wasted water on his grief. Later, he is ready to repent to his Lord and reports that he must endure the pain of his sin. Yeah, so in, in his praising of God, uh, the idolatry, he's, he's disappointed with himself because of um, the sinning that he has done. Um, he mentions how he wastes a lot of tears, and he talks about the griefs which uh, his heart rent. He compares his heart to a space that can be occupied by other things. Um, I believe that these griefs um, are his... Uh, like his sinning that caused him to be unhappy, but uh, John, what's your perspective on that? I believe that is his emotion, which is causing some grief, his great sorrow um, of that nature. Uh, and now, um, because he did suffer um, his his sinning, he must suffer pain, and this is more this is more mental strife and uh, confusion right. that he causes himself. Uh, the third the third question reads. The hydroptic drunkard and night scouting thief, the itchy lecher and the self-tickling crowd, have the remembrance of past joys for relief of coming ills. So here in this quatrain, the speaker lists off the types of sinners, um, a drunk, a leecher, and a self-licking pr proud. Um, he says that they all have past joys and that that will allow them to mitigate their coming ills. Yeah, so in this third quatrain, he talks about all different, all different types of sinners. Um, and then his, uh, the final two lines of that quatrain, have the remembrance of past joys for relief of coming ills. I believe that he's giving advice to himself, saying if he can remember uh, past happy events that happened in his life, that it might help him to get through some problems rather than uh, going back to sinning again. Um, the last couplet reads, To poor me is allowed no ease, for long yet vehement grief hath been the effect and cause, <clears throat> the punishment and sin. So I took this couplet as kind of, this is the speaker's realization that um, the cause is, of his pain is his sin, and he must endure and accept his sin so that he can finally reach forgiveness and happiness. Yeah, agreeing with John, um, the speaker is not giving himself any slack from his sinning. Um, he says he's allowing himself no ease. Um, and he's just recognizing that this grief, this grief is the cause and effect. Um, it's kind of a downward reoccurring spiral. The sinning is causing him unhappiness, which causes him to sin again. And he recognizes that he's not going anywhere. Um, he's not going to find any joy, uh, with this cycle that he keeps on causing himself. That's Thank our you. analysis. Appreciate it.